So we do have to redefine safe. It's not enough for your sales to be recession resistant. You also have to have your earnings to be inflation resistant. Now, many companies in this industry, they just fail the second test. Clorox, Kimber uh, Kimberly Clark, uh, Colgate, Palm Olive. You know, Clorox has been obliterated. That stock's down more than 16% year to date. That's not supposed to happen. They did report a hideous quarter about a month ago. Colgate had a lackluster fourth quarter. and stock's down 10%. Meanwhile, Kimberly Clark had a perfectly fine quarter, but then it gave you a dismal full year earnings forecast thanks to raw costs. Poof, down 10%. Procter & Gable's different. Unlike so many of its peers, Procter has actual pricing power, something they've earned over time by investing heavily in innovation to make its products superior, and in advertising to make sure everybody knows its products are superior. As a result, when Procter reported its most recent quarter, the company generated a stunning 6% organic sales growth, half of that coming from higher volume and half coming from higher price, which they got away with because people liked the products. The price increases stuck across all five of their main business segments. That said, again... You know, they're not totally inflation-proof. Procter's gross margins declined by 400 basis points in the most recent quarter, but their operating margins only declined by 250 basis points, and that's thanks to higher productivity. At a presentation at the Big Annual Consumer Analyst Group of New York conference last week, that's Cagney. I didn't cover it that much this year, frankly, because there's not a lot of good, not a lot of good stocks there. Procter's CFO was pretty candid about the cost headwinds they're up against this year. However, he was also very confident about the company's ability to pass on those costs uh, by raising prices, something few companies can do. Remember, it's not like any of this is new. They've been dealing with high inflation for a while now, and they've been coping much better than their competitors. And that's why I believe that Procter & Gamble is the best of the group. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.